Broadcasting live from the Vile Stadium in San Francisco, home of the 40 Nightmares. You know why this team is named that? Because their fans are known to wake up in a cold sweat screaming at the top of their lungs. <laughs> I don't blame them. Don't poke fun at their city, Grim. Plenty of great places to eat if you like vegan. Hey, I love to eat vegans, but they always whine when you're cooking them. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The New London Patriots take on the San Francisco 40 Nightmares. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, the team's on the now. You know what happened? <laughs> if you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're going to love seeing mutants not cold, their brains turned into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. NFL game day is on the air. Oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. Hot, hot one, hot. to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, and it's first and ten. up about six on the play. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, man, what a throw. That sonic blast just cleared the field for the touchdown. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. so hard I went into a dark tunnel thought I saw my parents waving at the line turns out it's just the visitors tunnel but he knocked me through and a pair of medics waving fingers in my face he could go all the way he's at the 30 he's at the 20 here comes the defense and that'll be a first down you know bricks a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league nice to some old mano a mano on the turf, huh? Yeah, 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 I got to get on out, you know? First and four. <laughs> Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second and three. The defense better look out. The offense called the boost. He was 
is stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Third and two. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. Damn, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Thread. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. The lineman swats the ball away with those meaty paws. What? It looks so snugly. Yeah, well, I guess if you're a monster. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. And they went to the air and came up big. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. Since when is that a penalty? Uh, since now, I guess, Grim. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. And it looks like the offense. And the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill the court. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm cream. That cross stitching, unbelievable. Oh, no good. Well, that punter's going to find a cut. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense.
And it's first and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. First and ten. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey, less than a wipe for the headache. Third and four. Second down and ten. done and it's first and ten second down in a very lot defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there down and 10. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. It's all about who can control the line of scrimmage on these short yardage fourth down plays. Usually it's the guy with the biggest butt. First down and one. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. And I think he's more of a downest guy than a speed feet, friend. He's running from his team.
The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast hand sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, nah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. Pretty close, though. Yep. Dirty trick. The last play is a race. How did they do that? Did they go 88 miles per hour? Just ask. This is your brain, and this is your brain on berserker drugs. Is that, is that guy's brain getting crushed out of his helmet like that guy? Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Rex? Yep. Third brain. Sister Mary Margaret of our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles. But it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty. And so that's the two minute warning. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. Caught for the first down. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. Yeah, for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. First down and seven. Hot, hot one, eight. Ball man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. It looks like the defense handed our shrinking pills. Uh, that's a ginormous dirty trick there, Bricks. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. Hello now. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy! Holy mother of 
And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Hitch going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoes. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, man? That would make more sense. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stopping time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and... And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Rim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up in the crack of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points and let's move on. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm going to go to a strip tease show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Sitting on the oil rig about to blow. Hey, smells like an oven baked porta john in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. And that'll bring up second and one. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. First and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponent. I want to take a beast boost injection too. Uh, now that is weird side effects, Bricks. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world.
Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Nobody can touch me with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Pop? Third and four. <laughs> oh, man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback got late, and the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. He blasts it and picks up seven yards right there. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Second and three. Caught for the first down. First down and five. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop. After three, two. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Second down and two. And the defense jumps on sides trying to. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And that'll bring up second and one. They're going for two here. And he makes the grab and adds two points to their score.
They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. way to get the sticks moving he picks up five on that play and it's first and ten should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? They kicked the kick and jab and half? They'd just be called straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. First and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. Maybe a yard. Second down and nine. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Third down and three. First and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Third down and three. One in for the first down. First down and one. Second down and five. Third down and, well, 
Good luck. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Glenn. Yeah, bigger than yours. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. Hey, man, you see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, with the brutal hit! And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down! And it's first and ten. Normally that would be a first down, but he had a whole lot of ground to make up. Second down in inches. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I love the murder ball. Bam! Oh, man, that's the end of his day. He might want to try hurling those traps next time. Look, guys, I'm supposed to be impartial, but this ref is so dirty, he should be where he's most at home, buried in the dirt. Second down and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. They just went zebra hunting, and it looks like they got their trophy. Second down in a mile. for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you, and the defense downs it.
And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally dis They stop the clock with their first timeout, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. The timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And it's first and ten. And the QB might as well just bury himself now. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Yeah, but... just called a time warp dirty trick and now it's like everything that just happened didn't get Brick's mom on the phone quick i want to use 13,000 of those time warps and undo them as the defensive players go berserk they've been known to rip the hit now the offense is getting kills this is really a violent game oh and the ball carrier just got skewered <laughs> and that's the end of his day oh that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. The defense just used their last time out, and there's still plenty of game left to play. Well, congratulations! You just played yourself! Memes won't make you cool, Bricks, no matter what your mom says. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Third and four. Running like a moose right now. And that is caught for a first down. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. San Francisco 40 Nightmares have won the game in front of their hometown fans. And the stadium is screaming like a kid's party at Chuck E. Cheesy. They handed the opposition a crushing defeat with a two-point win. And talk about a close one. Speaking of close, do you ever wonder why razor blades need five blades? I get a close shave just fine with one of those cheap travel razors. Don't you, Grim? No idea what you're talking about. Let's hear what the MVP has to say about this victory. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.